everybody, it's Jason from Flight Tech Media. I promised to make a video about the new Environment Force, which um, took some time to install, so that's why I'm a little bit uh, behind off schedule. But let's get into the application. So I can show you a fast demonstration of the ap uh, application. There will come another video with more information about it, but right now, just to so uh, get the most basic about the environment force. And here's the application, as you can see. To the left side, you got uh, the menus, as uh, usual, uh, if you have owned earlier products like Skyforce 3D or other of Rex's uh, products or the new ones actually and in the middle you ha also have uh, shortcuts to actually get to um, some of the shader, uh, shader tools and to the right side you have uh, <clears throat> you have the Yusha uh, uploaded shader options, um, the presets, and at the top you have um, you have the general some the general uh, change mode option, the recompile shaders, and the save presets you can save for yourself and actually upload it later on. Right now I'm on manual mode. And uh, there's also the auto mode. I, I haven't used that yet, but I could also use it. But I think I will focus on the uh, manual mode today. So now I'm at manual, and for them who likes to tweak and want to get and uh, learn about tweaking and get a new exp uh, get a new experience, this will be the option for you. I will suggest everybody to do this. Let's take a look here, the menu, and uh, the menu, and uh, then down the global settings where you can find you uh, the information about um, your registration and the uh, prepared folders and the uh, texture folders and stuff. So you know it's really basic and the help option. So let's just take a fast look. We click at 3D cloud control, and then you have um, a second one for that. And you have lighting and visibility control, water control, water terrain, coloring, texture synchronization, and preset themes. Uh, so let's take it for one step just to show you a little bit of the shader tuning tools. We take this one first, and this is how it looks like, where you can manually do it from the program. Up, up, and here. And then we also got the sync option, where you can uh, where you can uh, sync the clouds textures on the fly and the sky textures. And this is just fast. And then you got the. Uh, Last one, which is uh, you presets and where you can see community presets. Have you own here? Download the downloaded ones you can use. Yeah, and that's almost the basic of the environment force. Just be aware of one thing that the pro program is still new, so it has its flaws and a few issues, errors, which will be corrected in the future updates. This program uh, program was actually built with uh, an API technology to actually don't mess with you uh, prepared core files, and also it well uh, it was um, it featured that you could use it with all the shader tools, but at the moment there have been a few problems with one of them actually the tomato shade. I don't know about PTA yet. I haven't seen anything about it, but I think also that uh, that there was a few problems there. So there will be an update. They have been, um, they are uh, aware of the of the problems, uh, the Rex team. So they will sooner or later make an update. So now let's get this started. 
And now we are leaving for prepared. And we have to cut this. And here we go now, we go for gaming mode. So, now we are prepared and I have uh, loaded a, a scenario just fast to show a few of the functions and this is how the menu looks like as you can see in the in-game. This is your tweaking menu. And you got a lot of options and I will just show some of them. Um, you will get a more detailed explanation because it's still new, but let's uh, try this. I want to change the cloud size. I take this and use this, uh, um, this function because uh, I can move it around so it will be fast instead of just, just clicking on the minus or plus sign just to like step by step uh, increasing or decreasing it. So let's go. Now I will increase, as you can see, I'm decreasing now. So here's what you get. Now I'm increasing and put it at full. Look at this. I like it like this. And then if we go down like this, you can also manipulate this part of the sky. Try to take a look here. So. No, this is the cloud sh shadows, sorry, as you can see there. Wanted a little bit darker just for fun now. Right now I'm not trying to ma make any preset, I'm just showing how it works. Cloud opacity, let's just for fun try this one. Oh. And this is in real time I'm doing this, so let's try this one for fun. Can you see what it does? I want it like this, just for fun. And that uh, I don't want to touch yet. And if you, have, if you um, don't like what you have done, just do this. Whoopty. And now to the water option. this one and this is also what you can do so if you like tweaking manually and just so you're aware I have removed removed my reshade and options but we'll put them on later right now it's just for the test and now it's just to show uh, you uh, you the clean part of uh, the environment uh, force. And then let's see what we else got. Vertical modifier. I can't see what it does actually right now. So water reflection. And here we go. So as you can see. I'll put uh, reshade on again later for later purposes, but right now it's just for test vertical mo vertical modifier. What is this doing? Ah, just look at this. So can you see the details? And we have the terrain index. Let's try to look at the terrain right now. Let's give it a little bit more color. I remove a little bit. And object index. It also do something. And here we go. And the sky index. Then you have the fog density and some other things. And then you can also adjust ambient light. This one I haven't used yet because uh, I don't know why. It 
can be used but this one actually that uh, also does something like you can see the coloring again so now I'm just showing a few of the options just to get you on it fast and then you got this and also an older smart option where you can actually test your tweaks you have the time offset function so you can just use this and try to look at the different time zones Yeah, it looks beautiful. And that's just for fun. So here we go. And right now it doesn't have a frame rate impact at the moment. If it, or if it does, you can't actually actually um, or if it's ha if it has a frame if it has a frame rate uh, impact, you you wouldn't notice uh, or maybe some systems will but right now try to look at this let's say change view beautiful it can do a lot of tasks by itself actually like tomato shade or or PTA but you got it live hand so that's actually a nice tool and you can tweak and continue and use reshade in combination look at this and this is my short video thing thanks for watching i hope you will return to, uh, to my channel for the part two of this video where i will try to install somebody's preset or actually try to make my own